Hello. Welcome to Annual Homes at Haygate Fields in Wellington in Telford in Shropshire. Right on the edge. I'll tell you what, you can probably just about see the reeking from look, 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 look. Let's have a little look at the window, look. Can you see the reeking? Now that is what you call a reeking view. Anyway, I snuck you in here just. Anyway, this hallway, this hallway's a good size, isn't it? Shall I tell them what this house is called? Yeah. The cardigan. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think that's quite a funny name for a house cardigan. Yeah, well, the thing is, because Amwell Homes, they're expanding rapidly at the moment, and they name all their houses after uh, Welsh places. Oh, I was going to say, as in items of clothing. Cardigan Bay. And the one next door is called the Jumper. Yeah. Right. See, that's the only information you get with showrooms online. Okay, that's, right. you know. So, four bed detached. We'll start here. So that's the downstairs cloak room. Yeah, good size, got a good a window there as well. The doors are very wide, aren't they? Yeah. Natural fat, very nice. Yeah. Very nice door furniture look it's as well. It's a good well. size hallway as well, actually. So we've got a cupboard wide. here. So we've got a utility a, a utility cupboard. A utility cupboard. So we've got the alarm. How good is that? The RCD box. Your and boiler. That's yeah. But space there for your washer dryer. It, it would only have to be a washer dryer though, wouldn't it? You've only got room for one yeah. thing. And the smallest cupboard there in the world. What are these? What is this? Some kind of laundry detergent in a bottle. Anyway, right. So you've backed up into the uh, kitchen diner there. This is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Gosh, let me look for some measurements. Right. Kitchen area, 5 metres 53 by 2 metres 47. Dining area, 3 metres 53, so obviously that's the um, the width by 3 metres and 8. So all together, five, about 5.5 five metres in length, this room. You said when we pulled onto the site that this reminded you of a certain um, other Welsh developer. Um, and actually... Actually, I was talking about some of the other houses around the yeah. development. But anyway, what I'm saying, yeah, they the actually, actually, you actually are right. The, they build exact sort of very similar sized houses, right? In that kind of really, um, that really kind of arts and crafts, crafts type of theme. Well, we are but talk it, we're talking about a developer that begins with R. Awesome. Yeah. But I'm anyway. telling you, no, what I've seen of this company, they, they build some very, very nice house types. So, let's have a look at this kitchen. They've put stickers on things that or an upgrade, yeah. essentially. So things like the integrated dishwasher. So plenty of cupboard space. You've got eye line cupboards, a big gas hob there. Lovely big drawers. You've got an oven and a grill. And then this is your fridge and freezer. I mean, it's useful, isn't it, when they put stickers on things so that you know what, what you've got to pay a little bit extra for if you want it saves any confusion but you always need to ask the sales negotiator about what's included and what isn't i like this it feels very spacious yeah. it's a room you'd want it's to a sit big in and eat. Yeah. yeah you could potentially have a little sofa in here as well you could move your table over i like it and you got these really big as we're talking arts and crafts style you got them really big skirting boards there as well look I mean, the other thing is we have picked a fabulous day to come looking at show homes, yeah. haven't we? For February, the weather is gorgeous. Back into this very wide hall, we've got another cupboard. Under the stairs there. And then through, we're at the rear of the house now, this is your lounge, living room. It feels big. Mm -hmm. Dimensions. Let's have a look. Now they do give them in feet as well, but it's six meters and one mil by three meters thirty-eight, which will be the width. Width, length, yeah. So they've got a sofa at this end, sofa there. Where would you put your TV in here? Uh, on the wall, maybe. I suppose you could have it at either end, couldn't you? Yeah. We've got a whole bank of things over there with the aerial and stuff so you, you can have your telly over at that side or I mean a corner sofa would just be fabulous in here you can have it there or over there 
then you've got all this room here yeah. as well. You can have a desk at this end, toys, plenty of room. Feels very spacious. Right, we'll take a look upstairs. It's the first floor then. I think if we start just here and then work our way back around. So we've got a really big, deep understairs cupboard there. It's, a, it's over the stairs. Over stairs, yeah. <laughs> With the cylinder. Yeah. yeah, no cylinder tank in it. Yes. So this is bedroom four at the front. So you're over the downstairs cloak room, aren't yeah. you? Bedroom four, uh, two metres 99 by two metres 60. Oh, so the bed tucks in around yeah. that side. It's good, isn't it? You've got bedroom two again at the front. Maybe you can show the viewers the, the view. view from yeah, so we're literally, you can actually see the, the motorway is just up there, literally just up there. You've got that beautiful reek in there and the arkle. It just is actually the motorway, the M54 is five minutes in that direction, yeah. isn't it? It kind of runs in front of the reeking, which is that very big lump yeah. there that's a hill so they're new to again Amwell and new to Telford as part of their um, current expansion of the area um, and also we can tell the viewers that this development is in Wellington which is one of the smaller towns market town of Telford, Telford. yes and it has a fabulous market it's very nice Wellington it's got a, a kind of a little town feel all of its own hasn't it internal bathroom there yeah, so we've got ideal standard sanitary wear. 1m90 by 1m75. I don't think this house is overdressed, is it? No, I think it's very nice. It's kind of subtle. Modern. Yeah, it's going with the mustards and the greys, yeah, I mean, which are I'm, really current colours. I'm going to talk about like there's not too much you know, clutter in here, it's just simple. That's bedroom three there that you're in. Yeah. The three big rooms. 40 by 2m60. Yeah. I like the interior design. It's got quite a contemporary feel to it. Yeah. And this is the master bedroom. So bedroom one, three meters 75 by three meters 33. Yeah, so they've gone. They've actually gone for a mirrored wardrobe, built in mirrored wardrobes. I like mirrored wardrobes. Got an ensuite, Steve, too. Very nice. It's almost that piece of furniture was made for that spot, really. Well, it possibly might have been with the fitted wardrobes. Yeah. Nice ensuite though, with a window. Yeah. So a lot of light coming in there. The ensuite there, as you can see, runs off the boiler. It's actually all right. Ideal standard. Pretty good. Having a look at the uh, the foliage. <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks for watching us. That was the um, this is the ca ca cardigan. Cardigan. We were laughing at the cardigan, weren't we? The name. You were. I know. Anne Will Holmes, um, Welsh house builder, yeah. coming into the area. Good example of one of their their nice properties. Very nice. There it is. Look. Yeah. And uh, we have got a playlist for Anne Will, so take take a look at that. I will put all of the dimensions and information about this development in the description box down below, so take a peek down there, along with a link back to Anne Will's own website, because it's worth contacting them directly for information about current availability, because this yeah. it's already started, isn't this it? Is this site. Site. It yeah. is a big site, it is a big site, and lots of trees and stuff in it. Yeah, it's beautiful, uh, and current pricing, etc., um, and they'll be able to tell you all about the deals and things that they do. Um, but we have another house to see here, so if you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you on our next video. Bye Thanks for, for watching. Now.